Hello and welcome to my channel, Reveal and Review, where today I have not something new, but the return of an old favorite. Now, a lot of people have been excited about this one, and it is the Taco Bell Mexican Pizza. There it is right there. It was taken off the menu. Um, it said when I looked it up online, it said the information online said it was taken off the menu in 2020. But I don't remember seeing it on the menu for years. I mean, probably, at least where I live, probably like 15 years. I do know that maybe it's... I know that uh, Taco Bell has items, there's base items that the people that own the franchise have to have on the menu. And then there's secondary items that they can choose from to put on the menu, depending on what sells best in, in a certain area. So... Maybe it's just, maybe every place else had them up to 2020, and I know that the same guy owns all the Taco Bells in my town, and there's quite a few of them, so, um, but uh, maybe it was just something that he chose not to have on the menu, I don't know, but I, I don't think they've been on the menu in my area in years, probably like, I want to say 15 or 20 years. I remember getting these a long time ago, like in, in the 80s. Uh, or maybe early 90s when I was in high school and college. Uh, it does say established 1985 right on there. Now this box did get a little bit crushed on the way home, but let me get a thumbnail here real quick. All right, enough of that. And uh, so... I do have the uh, list of ingredients that it comes with because I've kind of forgotten. It's been so long. It used to be a favorite of mine. I used to get it all the time. And uh, I had kind of forgotten what all's on it. I know it has the uh, flower shells on it that are really good. But I, um, I had forgotten what's on it because it's been so long. So here is the list of ingredients. There are two crispy fried flower shells, beans, pizza sauce, seasoned beef, tomatoes, and a melted three cheese blend. And that's all that's on it. That's That was the whole list of ingredients uh, when I looked it up online. Seems like I remember it having uh, green onions on it or maybe regular onions. I know a lot of the stores, I think it was up to the individual stores if they carried onions or not. But I'm not really sure on that. But the uh, the price is four forty nine, dollars And it seems like I remember... Like back in the day, this is how long it's been. Like when I was in high school, I would get one a Mexican pizza, and it was like maybe two dollars, a dollar ninety nine, and it was one of the more expensive items at the Taco Bell menu on the Taco Bell menu. So that shows you how much things have gone up uh, in the last thirty, thirty five years. But anyway, price is four forty nine, and the uh, this comes out uh, May nineteenth, which is today, and. Uh, just got this today, and so let's just take a look. I've talked long enough. Like I said, this box got really crushed up here. There's what it looks like uh, in the box. Looks kind of like a mess, but you can see it's got the flour tortillas. You see it's got the melted three cheese blend, the uh, beans and the beef in between the two flour shells, so let me just take some bites here, and I'll see if it tastes like I remember it, and then I will give a brief synopsis, and that shall be that. See if I can separate this a little bit. I separated it a little bit so you can see what's on the inside of it. Looks like mostly just beans to me, but there is beef. I see there's beef mixed in with the beans. So let me take a couple more bites of this and I'm going to wrap this up. I can taste the pizza sauce even though I don't see it. I can taste some kind of, there's definitely some type of tomato sauce on it 
or some type of sauce. And it tastes, uh, it's not spicy or anything. It just tastes like tomatoes. But it's a sauce. So it's not just the tomatoes. All right, one more bite, and then I'll wrap it up. I think you can tell where it's going by how fast I'm eating this. <clears throat> All right. So, I don't really see any reason to give it a rating as such. Usually, I'll rate my items from 1 to 10, but for this... You know what? I am going to rate it. I changed my mind. I will say that it does taste real similar to what it used to taste like, except for me it's missing the onions, because I think it used to have the onions on it, and I like onions. It adds a little bit of flavor to it, in my opinion. So, it's missing that, and that's not on there. I guess the onions are a thing of the past at Taco Bell. So, uh, other than that, what am I going to rate it? It's a favorite. I would get it again. Hopefully it stays on the menu and they don't just do like they do with like the nacho fries where they, you know, bring them back and take them away every every couple of weeks. So, what am I going to rate it out of 10? I think I would rate this an 8. An 8 out of 10. It's good. Uh, uh, this used to be, like I said, one of my favorites at Taco Bell along with the bean burrito. And I think it shall retain that favorite status of mine as for as long as it's on the menu. So that's my review. That's pretty much all I have to say about it. Hope you enjoyed it. Comment, make sure and like the video. Make sure and uh, leave a comment. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'd like to invite you to stop by my channel where I have lots of other videos, lots of food reviews, lots of drink reviews. There's a pizza review playlist. There's actually a Taco Bell playlist, uh, review, a Taco Bell review playlist that this will be going on, will be added to. And uh, so if you stop by my channel, I'm sure you will find something that will entertain you. And uh, I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and I will catch you in the next one. Everyone have a good night.